Well, I'm so excited that you have finished it. This is the last day you've been following along with us in our Voices series. And I want to end with what I consider the maybe the most dangerous prayer you can ever pray. As we talk about listening to the voice of God and, and things he said to us, there was a season in my life where I was in an intense season of prayer. I was driving and that really is a time that God speaks to me a lot. I'm, I'm kind of captured in that moment. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything else but kind of sit and listen. And I was praying and and just feeling God's presence. And it was a, it was an incredible moment. And, and I get to this point in my prayer where I say, God, whatever you want me to do, just let me know. I'll do it. And I, just, I want to pause and say, listen, if, if you're thinking about praying that prayer, you just need to understand that's a dangerous prayer because I meant it. I meant, God, if you want me to go to Zimbabwe and be a missionary, I would do it. I mean, it was just, man, I felt God's presence so close to me and it was so intense. And I was like, let's do big things together, God. And so I'm praying this prayer. I'm driving down this main street and just clear as God speaks to me, God reminded me of a moment where I had lied to somebody. I was a youth pastor. It was just immature. Somebody caught me off guard and asked me if I did something and I was embarrassed and I just, I straight up lied to him. I I said, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all. And God brought that moment back up to me and said, Nick, all I want you to do is call that person, tell them that you lied to him and apologize. And I got to tell you, uh, that was about the last thing I wanted to do. In fact, when I was praying and that kind of came back to me, I started arguing with God. It went from a very intense, like this is incredible to an argument with God where I was going, well, God, listen, I'll, I'll go to Zimbabwe. I'll, I'll go to China. I'll, I wanna, I'll be a missionary. Like, tell me the big things that you want me to do, God. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. And God just came back with, I want you to call that person. I want you to tell him you lied to him. And I want you to apologize. And I was having none of it at the time. I mean, that scared me. That freaked me out. I thought, are you kidding me? You know, like I'll get fired. Uh, you know, I'm a pastor. I, you know, you're not supposed to lie as a pastor. You're supposed to be perfect in, in every possible way and, and float on air. And, and I was just terrified, to be honest. And so, listen, I would love to tell you that I did it, that I heard from God. Uh, I did it and it was incredible, but I didn't. I didn't do it at all. In fact, that kind of ruined the moment in that moment. And I, I, I was like, God, I'm not going to do that. And I kind of went on with my day. I drove to my location, went on, and and to be very honest, I I, I didn't really pray much for the next few days, and and so it was it was several days later that again I kind of came back to God, and I was like, God, what do you want me to do today? Just whatever you want me to do today, and you know, God just said, ah, Nick, I, I already told you what I want you to do today. I want you to call that person, I want you to tell them that you lied, and I want you to repent of it, apologize. And I was like, no, 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 what else? And 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 it was in that season that that God was really teaching me something really, really important. And it was like, Nick, I'm, I'm not going to be able to trust you with big things until I can trust you with little things. What, what makes you think that you would pack up your family and go to a foreign country or that you would do something crazy big when you can't even do the small little steps that I'm asking you to do? And so for about a month and a half, I mean, really, I would love to tell you that, that I was so much better. I wasn't. Uh, for about a month and a half, my walk with God was frozen. And, and at one point in the middle of a prayer session, I felt like God said, Nick, until you do this one thing, there's nothing else for us to talk about. That's why I say it's the most dangerous prayer you can pray. When you give God that open invitation and you mean it, there is this commitment, I feel like, that you're making to God and you're wanting to hear His voice. You're really wanting to hear from Him. But depending on what He asks you to do, it can be incredibly, incredibly scary. And so for that month and a half, my relationship with God was not great. I didn't hear anything else. It was like a gong that every time I came back, every time I read the Bible, every time I thought about God, it was this thing going, you got to call, you got to confess, and you got to apologize. And finally I did. Finally it just tore me up enough. Finally I wanted a relationship with God more than I wanted peace or even job security. And so I called them and they did not pick up the phone. So I left a message. Uh, which was fine because I thought God told me to call him. He didn't tell me I had to talk to him live. I was really good with that. I was grateful for that. I left him a message and did what I was supposed to do. And in the middle of that, I was able to move forward. In fact, I would 
argue that my relationship with God is stronger because I was faithful to what He called me to do. But as we kind of wrap up this Voices series, I want to encourage you and caution you at the same time to be open to what God would say. That ultimately, with all the voices in our mind, with all the voices in our culture and who's speaking to us, I believe that God's voice should ring the loudest, that we should come to Him and say, God, tell me what you want me to do, and then do it. But it's a dangerous place to live. But if you really are following God, you know that's exactly where you're called to be. That our lives are never meant to be safe. They're never meant to be nice. They're never meant to be these perfect little worlds. Know that real life and real ministry and real pursuit of God is messy. It's awkward. It's full of confession. It's full of of having those conversations that we don't necessarily want to have. And so I don't know where you're at as you wrap this up. I don't know what's going on. Maybe God already spoke to you about something and you're struggling with it. You're going, oh man, I just, I already, I'm already there. I already know what I need to do. I want, I want to encourage you and maybe strengthen you by telling you, I promise you, God will not call you to something that he will not see you through. That those moments are moments of testing our faith and God's voice. God's voice is the one that we need to listen to more than anybody else. Hey, I hope this series has blessed you. I hope God is speaking to you. And my prayer for you and all of us is that God's voice would be the loudest amongst a sea of other voices. God bless. We'll see you soon.